So this is the mess that I've been dealing with for the past week. I got all this stuff piled on the floor. Every time I hit the brakes, something goes flying. I can't get in my bottom drawers anymore. So let's get to work. Let's build a place for everything. I accidentally set my shaver a little too close to the green this morning. <laughs> oh well. I don't want this over here. I want this over here. Like so. I'm having some trouble visualizing what exactly I want back here. Wall here, wall there, something across the top. I don't know. Planning is a waste of time. I'm just going to start building stuff. some storage underneath it above it I'll have to bungee cord this on so it doesn't slip out but I'm out of plywood I'm gonna go buy some more it'd be nice to work outside so I'll grab that and head out of town find a place to work I picked up my plywood I was about to head out of town and I got to talking to Serenity she's building out a school bus and it's pretty amazing what she's done so far so let's go take a quick look at that first then uh, I'll get back to work <laughs> You're cutting the roof vent today. Trying to. And but I already broke a blade. So you've done all this work yourself. Yep. The beginning of December is when I really started actually buckling down and working on the bus. The roof was the hardest. It took me so long. I think it took me a month just to get the roof off. That was so hard. What did you add in for the floor? They're just um, two feet pieces of uh, plywood with I don't know, half inch foam already glued to the bottom of it and that made it really easy. It's tongue and groove so I could just snap them all together. And you are planning on moving in here full time. I am. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> So if you want to keep up to date with her build progress, she does have a YouTube channel under the name Serene Nomad, so you can tune in there and watch how it unfolds for her. As for me, I'm going to head out of town, so that means before I start doing all this driving, I'm going to do some cooking. I'm going to try to make up some spring rolls in the air fryer. So I've got steak, I'm going to cook this first with uh, some onion, garlic, and ginger. Then we'll mix it all together in here with uh, some coleslaw. I'm gonna give this steak a quick rub with salt and pepper. Okay. 390 degrees for 11 minutes. Okay. We'll let it go for about six minutes, then we'll flip them over. I'm gonna cut this short. They're looking uh, crispy already, so. Nine minutes. Oh baby. Not bad. I'm gonna use some barbecue sauce on these. 
Nobody cares about what your exhaust sounds like, buddy. Uh, yeah, he just nearly killed somebody. He nearly just ran over a pedestrian. <laughs> Air frying is a whole new world. Could you do this for me? <laughs> Alright, time to get out of town. Alright, it is parked up. I'm in the Ghost Public Recreation Area now. It's a Sunday afternoon, so everybody's leaving. I'm like the only person coming in. So everyone's already had all their parties over the weekend. And they've left all their trash and toilet paper for the next person to enjoy. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to putter around here on the van build. I like to drive further out in there tomorrow, but there's uh, some snow in the forecast. So I'm just going to be careful with that because uh, I've got nothing in terms of self-recovery gear right now. And if I get stuck, I'm in trouble. Um, but yeah, let's get a beer and uh, do some building. That's enough building for tonight. So I got two little cubby holes above and below it. I'll have a shelf straight across the top for my fishing rod and hiking poles. I don't know what I'm gonna do on this side. We'll figure that out later. Then I'll put a bungee cord around the water container. It's starting to get chilly out here. So I'm gonna get all packed up and turn on the heater. I don't really watch like TV shows or movies that much anymore. I did watch the newest Bill and Ted movie. It was pretty good for what it was. I liked how they put a little nod in there to George Carlin. And uh, I don't really game that much anymore either. I was super excited for Cyberpunk 2077, but by the sounds of it, it's a complete disaster right now. So I'm just going to have to wait a year or two until they patch it up and make it actually playable. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, I'll try to get out there for some more exciting stuff and uh, finish up building all this stuff over here. Well, this is more exciting, isn't it? <laughs> They're calling for 25 centimeters of snow, so I gotta be real careful, keep an eye on the forecast. Well, it's coming right along. At the very least, I've created a nice sharp corner here to bonk my head on. I don't know if I have enough wood left to uh, finish up these other shelves. Well, I got cell service right here, so I've been keeping an eye on the weather radar, and it looks like this storm is just about to pass, so I'm going to head on deeper into the wilderness, cut a trail, and uh, get myself set up for a good hike tomorrow.
this appears to be the end of the line. I don't see any other tracks that people have tried to uh, cross the river here. So if people aren't doing it in their fully outfitted 4x4s, then I'm definitely not going to make it with this. And I am like still really far away from the hike that I wanted to do. So I'm going to have to think that over real carefully whether or not I should go for it tomorrow. All right, I am going to camp out right here tonight. I'll have to keep a close eye on the amount of snowfall though, but it's supposed to clear off tomorrow. Supposed to, that's what they say. All right, I'm all pumped up. I'm eager to do this thing. It's going to be over a 30 kilometer round trip and with all this fresh snow, it's going to be a full day. So I'm going to have to get a bright and early, actually dark and early uh, to get a head start on this thing. So I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning. I'm walking for like five kilometers now and this road is still going. Looks like people have been able to drive out here too, so that's unfortunate that I couldn't find the way. But there are more summits out here that I want to do, so I'm sure I'll be back to drive this. I'm nine kilometers into this now and the road is still going. I can't wait to drive out here and figure out where exactly it goes. But I gotta turn off and now and head in this direction. It's been winding down into this tight canyon and uh, there's been a few tricky spots to figure out. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Every single step has become effort trying to break a trail like this. Just give me some crusty snow already. Ah. Well, I'm seven hours and 18 kilometers into this. We got Castle Rock over there and Devil's Head next to it. Mount Almer, I've been up on that one before. I don't know if I'll make it back to the van before sunset. It is a long, long way. Well, that was a long one, just under 12 hours, about 36 kilometers and uh, 1,400 meters gain. Let's get a beer. I can't believe people are actually driving across that little shelf of ice over there. I didn't want to be the first person to do it, but they've proven it to be safe. So I might as well go for it since I'm out here and since this road closes for the year next week. And I'll do some extreme off-road air frying while I'm at it. But I'll save that for the next video. It's always the hardest thing starting out a new video. Where to go, what to do. We got all this content right here, so I might as well take it. So thanks for watching and thank you to Patreon supporters and I'll see you soon. So the last video was the first video that I started using my new camera and nobody noticed an improvement in video quality so it just goes to show how well these smartphones work nowadays. But the reason that I switched over was because I couldn't find a good 
working external microphone for my uh, phone. I started out with the Rode Video Micro and it was just way too quiet. You could barely hear anything. So then I tried the Shure MV88 Plus and when it worked, it worked good. It just uh, it wouldn't connect to my phone half the time and I just got so flustered with it that I went and bought this uh, Sony RX107. Uh, I've got the Rode Video Micro plugged into it now and it just works. So I don't have to think about it. But it's too bad though. Uh, all these new phones coming out, they've got like 30 cameras plastered on them. It's too bad the companies haven't uh, released an official vlogging kit for them. But now, since I've always got the smartphone in my pocket, if you go over on Strava and check my GPS tracks and you can see everywhere that I do the camera work that I'm walking back and forth to uh, fetch my camera, it's kind of funny.